so well uh, let's see this question which is based on your uh, uh, again almost quantum numbers and uh, concepts together let's read this you know, what do they give me they said calculate the total spin quantum number magnetic moment total spin okay i need to calculate the total spin fine i need to calculate magnetic moment that is mu for the atoms having atomic number 7 24 34 and 36 so as soon as such uh, atomic number is given try to write the unpaid electrons then i can easily put it in the magnetic moment formula that is n root of n into n plus 2 let's start so first of all let us write the electronic configurations for all so when i write the electronic configuration for the first one atomic number 7 that is nothing but nitrogen so configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p3 how many unpaired electrons are here all the this is filled this is filled we have three unpaired electrons okay three unpaired electrons okay next one when i have to write 24 the element with atomic number 24 is chromium isn't it 24 so when i write the configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 10 electrons are over then comes 3s2 3p6 okay then comes 3d5 4s1 so how many unpaired electrons are here six unpaired electrons this is three this is six next element is 34 the element with 34 atomic number is selenium now configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 10 are over 3s2 3p6 3d10 okay this is also done next is 4s2 4p6 so how many unpaired electrons here two isn't it two unpaid uh, uh no one one minute this is uh 4s2 4p4 only no so this is two unpaired electrons because uh two are uh, uh stable this is two unpaid electrons next comes 36th element 36 is krypton the configuration this is done this is also done filled next comes your last 4s2 4p6 now number of unpaired electrons 6 plus 2 8 isn't it so zero unpaired electrons here 4 plus 2 6 but uh, two electrons more so, so two unpaired electrons to work by here nothing all are filled so zero unpaired electrons now i need to calculate what i need to calculate the magnetic moment they've asked me to uh, total spin that i calculated the unpaid electrons now like uh, unpaired electrons i calculated now i'll go to calculate the total spin so how should i how what is the for formula to calculate total spin like the formula to calculate total spin of an atom it is equal to plus or minus half we have studied this isn't it yes plus or minus half into number of unpaid electrons this is the formula so finding total spin so at the same thing directly i already got unpaired electrons from where electronic configuration so i'll directly apply that for first one for nitrogen yes it is if i as I apply in this it is something like uh, plus or minus half how many unpaired electrons did i get i got three unpaired electrons this is three into three so total what do i get i get plus or minus three by two like that for the second one chromium when i apply this formula i get plus or minus three next would be selenium when i apply this formula i am going to get plus or uh, minus one next would be krypton 36 when i apply this formula i get zero this is the spin on this one now when i've asked me to calculate magnetic moments so to calculate magnetic moment you've already studied uh, in your uh, uh, concepts <coughs> in coordination components i taught you how to calculate the magnetic moment using the formula it is root n into n plus 2 this is the formula isn't it bohr magneton bm is bohr magneton now so n is nothing but number of unpaid electrons so in the first case for nitrogen how do i write it is nothing but i got how much i got unpaired electrons is three so it is three into three plus two like that i'll be writing for all elements so when i get i'm going to get root 15 bm for the second one chromium again number of unpaid electrons if i substitute in this formula i'm going to get root 48 
bohr magnetons the same thing selenium atomic number 34 if i apply n is equal to n is nothing but unpaired electrons as it did we have already got here unpaired electrons so how many did, did i get i got two when i substitute in this formula i am going to get root 8 bohr magnetons the last one krypton 36 was atomic number number of unpaired electrons and if i take this number of unpaired electrons that is a zero which i got so the answer also here will be zero and this is how you have to calculate so both the spin as well as uh, your uh, magnetic moment both the concepts are covered in this question so practice this question students it's easy basically all when all the concepts are there in the one numerical it's easy for you to practice isn't it right so let's come back and see one more numerical <clears throat> here i'll be dealing with uh, like almost last five numericals here let's read here <clears throat> what do they give me the sodium flame test has a characteristic yellow color due to emissions of wavelength 500 uh, 589 nanometers what is the mass equivalence of one photon of its wavelength okay basically this is also a direct numerical <clears throat> let's do the do this so here what do they give me lambda is given that is 589 nanometers so what should i find out <coughs> i need to find out mass equivalence what is the formula which is relating all lambda is equal to h by mu i need to find this mass so i'll take this mass out get this lambda down i get h by lambda u now substitute the value planck's constant value 6.626 10 raised power of minus 34 what is wavelength 589 nanometers so 1 nanometer is equal like 1 nan nanometer is equal to if i have to convert in meters it is 10 raised power of minus 9 meters substitute that value here 589 into 10 raised power of minus 9 meters into u that is velocity uh, of uh, um, light 3 into 10 raised power of 8 so when i calculate solve this i get an answer of 36 kg that's it this is kg meter square per second yes so when i calculate i get this answer right fine so <clears throat> next question write the electronic configuration of fe plus 2 mn plus 4 n minus 3 very simple isn't it right electronic configuration so remember one concept that is whenever this plus means it is deficient of two electrons whenever it is minus means there are three electrons excess here there are two electrons excess So what should I write? Fe atomic number first. You should know. Write the configuration. One is two. Two is two. Normal configuration. Two p six. Till here ten. Three is two. It is three p six. Okay. Three d six. Then four is two. Now I need to write for Fe plus two. That means there are two electrons lost from where? From the outermost shell. This is where. This is lost in the second case. So write it exactly. One is two. Two is two. Two p six. 3s2 3p6 and your uh, 3d6 that's it this is lost that's why fe plus 2 next one i need to write the configuration for mn plus 4 okay let us write for manganese first <coughs> manganese atomic uh, number 25 fine so once you write that same exact procedure now i'm writing directly for manganese plus 4 write the configuration take out electrons from the last one how many should i take out i need to take out four electrons so one is two now after taking out one is two two is two two p6 this is 10 three is two three p6 3d now this is 3d6 isn't it 3d3 from the same thing three electrons i have taken because the same thing isn't it but this is 25 this is 26 this is 25 so uh, out of 3d6 i have taken three electrons so this is 3d3 next i need to write for nitrogen 9n nitrogen is 7 fine so till here 2 4 5 6 7 this is still here only isn't it so how many should i uh, uh, take out i need to take out nitrogen minus 3 so it is 1s2 2s2 2p6 why earlier it is nitrogen is 7 means origin one will write 1s2 2s2 2p uh, 4 okay 2p3 isn't it right 2p3 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 2 7 but now to this they have added three electrons this three electrons so this becomes 3 plus 3 6 2p6 now i need to write for oxygen minus 2 basically oxygen is eight atomic number so if i write the original one 1s2 2s2 2p6 now how many electrons two electrons added to the outermost shell 
so this becomes 1 is 2 2 is 2 2 p 2 p no 6 7 8 9 no this i wrote wrong this is 2 p 4 4 5 6 7 8 right 2 plus 4 plus 2 6 this is your sum so basically plus means you need to remove the electrons in the outermost shell minus means you need to add electrons in the outermost shell only nothing you will not change anything you will just add electron in the outermost shell only fine so uh, very uh, careful students you need to be careful with the symbols if you do not able to uh, if you just can get confused here you will get a wrong answer right let's start. Yes, so what do they give me? They said, what is the maximum number of emission lines when excited electron of hydrogen atom in N is equal to 6 drops to ground state? Fine. So, they have given what is the maximum number of emission lines. Right. I need to find. Okay. So, there is a formula num uh, to find the maximum number of emission lines in transition series. What is that? First of all, let us write what is this. So, what do they say? When the excited electron of hydrogen in N is equal to 6 drops to ground state. Ground state is nothing but N, uh, N1 is equal to 1. N2 is 6. This is the basic information. Now, I have to write number of lines emitted during transition okay from where did it transit it has jumped from n is equal to 6 to ground state let us read that from 6th orbit to 1st orbit first orbit isn't it yes so first orbit it is equal what is the formula it is summation into lambda n right so what is this what is lambda n from where lambda means change from where did it jump it has jumped from 6 to 1 so 6 minus 1 what do i get summation of 5 right so yeah this is the thing total how many now it is nothing but 15 isn't it yes so this is your sum let's see the next sum what do they give me here calculate the magnitude of spin angular momentum of an electron so the formula for calculating spin angular moment okay the spin angular momentum formula we'll write angular momentum formula so for the spin angular momentum formula of an electron okay what is the formula it is nothing but h by 2 pi into s into s plus 1 this is the formula now what do they give me calculate the magnitude of a spin angular momentum of an electron they said now no information is given but we very well know an electron uh, has both plus half and minus half spins isn't it yes s half so spin angular momentum of the electron now we will write that value here so it become h by 2 pi so i am considering the plus half minus half this one so half into half. so when i have to solve the spin angular momentum how much do i get i get 3 h by 4 pi so i am directly writing it and just solve this so further i can write this value as root 3 by 2 yes h bar okay uh, i think i'll stop it here only nothing to confuse you all even finish this answer here yes so last some students last but one 60 are the numericals okay what is the significance of psi 210 find the angular momentum spherical nodes and angular nodes for psi 210 okay Fine. so this particular numerical okay the same concept basically what does psi represent psi to psi it represents a wave uh, function isn't it so to uh, psi rep represents an orbital basically the probability of finding an electron in orbital and 210 means what does it mean psi 210 is basically what does it have it has n value is equal to 2 l value is 1 m is 0 this is what this number represents like this 210 means n is 2 l is 1 0 m is 0 this is what is this that means what can i infer from this when n is equal to 2 write 2 
if L is equal to uh, 1 and M is equal to 0, 0 to a subshell. Now, what should I find out? I need to find the angular moment from for this. Let us find. So, when I have to find the angular momentum for this, what is the formula? H by 2 pi root L into L plus 1. So, how much is this? H by 2 pi. What is the L value we have got? We have got 1. Now, substitute that value in this. So, I will be getting root 2. When I solve, I get an answer of H by 2 pi. So, I should also find spherical nodes. We have already written one formula for spherical nodes, isn't it? So, what is the formula for spherical nodes? Spherical nodes is denoted by the formula, that is, like uh, it is n minus l minus 1. Now, what is this? This is 2s orbital. So, n value is nothing but 2. What is l value? 1 minus 1. How much are spherical nodes? 0. They have asked, also asked me to find out spherical nodes right so okay spherical nodes are over i need to find which one angular nodes now for angular nodes also we have the formula which i have written already so angular node what is the formula it is nothing but angular node is equal to l what is l value which we've got one isn't it this l value is one so angular nodes are one spherical nodes are zero right so this is the concept students let us come back and do the last numerical of the above those series. So, here what do they give me? This is also an NCRT numerical basically. Let's read. Vivita Bharti station of All India Radio, Delhi broadcasts a frequency. Okay, frequency is given to me. That is uh, 1368. So, frequency into kilohertz. Let us denote that. Nu is equal to 1368. Converting kilohertz into hertz by multiplying with 10 days proof 3. This is hertz. This is nothing but second inverse. Calculate the wavelength and wave number. Okay, I need to calculate lambda. I also need to calculate nu bar. That is nothing but 1 by lambda of the electromagnetic radiation emitted by the transmitter. Which part of the electromagnetic spectrum does it belong? The same NCRT numerical only. I did this earlier also. So, first of all, I need to find wavelength. Lambda is equal to C by nu. So, new bar or wave number if i have to write the formula it is the inverse of wavelength isn't it yes so write the formula how much is the value of c 3 into 10 raised power of 8 what is the value of frequency which they have given me kilohertz that is 1368 into 10 raised power of 3 this is the value so write that value here 68 into 10 raised power of 3 this comes to the meters now, this is over. I need to calculate wave number now. Wave number is equal to 1 by lambda. So, how much did I get wavelength? 1 by 219.3. When I do this, I get an answer of so much. Now, uh, what is the range they asked us? So, basically, when I say the electromagnetic spectrum, this range is the radio wavelength, isn't it? Radio waves fall in this range. So, if I have to say radio waves, the range is, range is radio wave length. How much this varies? This varies from 10 days per of 3 to 10 days per of 4 meters. This is a thing. Right. So, this is the end of your uh, numerical chemistry students. Hope the concepts are clear. All the topics are covered one after the other. Everything clearly explained. This will be useful for your JE series, CBSE as well as NEET series. So, one thing, important thing students remember. So, um, the main thing after like doing each and every numerical, every part of the chapter, you know, I want you all to score that full mark in the exam. So, thank you for watching students. I'll be meeting you all with the next concept. I think Schrodinger wave equation as well as angular nodes and radial nodes. With that, the chapter will be complete. So, I'll be meeting you all with that topic on the board. So, my main aim is for doing the topic like this is I can cover more number of numericals in very less time. Fine. So, that's the reason. So, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day ahead.